Hi everyone, so I am back with another big chunky journal. This one is autumn themed, as you can see it says autumn blessings. I think I've used most papers that are autumn from Artie Mays. Um, may have used other things, I can't remember. Uh, this has been a work in progress for a good couple of days now. Um, so, let me give you the measurements. It is eight and a quarter by five and a quarter. It has a two and a half inch spine. It has three signatures, 120 pages front and back. It weighs 750 kilos, um, approximately. Um, it will be over on my Etsy shop. Um, and today is the 30th of September. There is a 25% sale that ends tonight. That's UK time. So there will be 25% off of this if you manage to buy it before midnight tonight here in the UK. It's half past seven right now when I'm videoing. So hopefully this will be up in the next half an hour if there's no issues with YouTube or anything else. So um, these are from Artie Mays. Like I said, I think everything's Artie Mays. Uh, we have got fabric cover uh, a fabric spine that's just like some calico and this was made from a uh, cereal box i think i think it was cheerios and I have a video that i put up the other week of how i do journals using cereal boxes so go check that out we have got and um, you can see it's been stitched there is eyelets there is this kind of shabby um closure I haven't done anything on the inside. I think with the chunky ones, you kind of don't need any more bulk to them. So anyway, right. The middle signature is just for writing and it's just blank coffee dyed paper with some nice wacky markings on there. Um, I think there's like 40 pages in the middle there. So let's go here. We've got a tag. This is from Bohemian Crafting. I've made clusters um, using scrappy pieces that I had from making last year's uh, autumn themed journals. Uh, I think everything pretty much is Artie Mays there. And here we've got a little pocket. This was just a leftover piece. And I think that is from Artie Mays's uh, freebie for the month of September. I do believe that's what it is. We've got some stamping here, coffee dyed paper. This is uh, squared paper. Um, and then some stamping here on the lined paper. This is from Tailor Made Journals. We've got a flip out here, got a few flip outs. Um, postcard there. Here we've got a, I'm just making sure I'm in frame here because that flip out. Um, got a tag there. I just I kind of like the, you can kind of see that the autumn leaves in the background and a little bit of script there. So I kind of like that as it is. Here we've got a double journal card and pocket there and then a pocket here at the top. So I've kind of left this so that there is plenty of space for you to add things and to write because there's nothing worse than getting especially if you buy a journal to write in i know some people buy journals just to look at them i've got many a journals like that um i don't write in them i just like to look at them because they're pretty um but there is lots of journal space in here if not if there's if you don't think there is you can write on the backs of everything the colors there i thought were autumn themed that was from england is a garden we've got another cluster here does that no it's just a little cluster on there this is just a little journal spot with some stitching and stamping and that pops in there flip out there's a church there or cathedral we've got an index card in there with some stitching and some stamping uh, love the leaves on here postcard there tag here, done some stamping on there, the ruffle here, love the sunflowers, triple pocket there, tag, a little bit of black thread, a tag there, that's from the Fruits of Autumn I think it's called, little journal card there but that is also opened there so you can sit that there. Some more stamping, 
I sound a little bit out of breath. My nose is blocked up. The heating's been on, so I think uh, you kind of get to my sinuses a little bit. Uh, love them little bubble marks there. <laughs> See, if you try to do things like that, it never happens. There's some nice little markings. I don't know how that happened, um, but it did. Stens uh, not stenciling, stamping, little double journal card. Um, these are good if you wanted to say glue along here and there, maybe punch a little notch there and then it becomes another tag. You can still write on the back and then it can hold things as well. Tag there. I love the autumn butterflies in uh, Artie Maisie's kits. They're really nice. Journal space, little flip outs, another little um, like notebook and I stamped at the bottom of them like the inserts there somewhere to journal here we've got a tag in there done some stitching these are book page pockets uh, England is a garden that's just a tuck and a tag there this is just a little notebook that you can do additional journaling in or you could go all out and decorate it with pockets and tuck spots. That would be a good idea, actually. There we go. Some more stamping. Stamping. Little flip out there. Little pocket. I love them apples. They look cute, don't they? So yeah, I don't normally put my journals up until much later on, but because there's still a 25% sale today i thought i'll get that up but early so that you got a chance to get 25 oh i can't speak 25 percent off love the that coffee dyeing actually didn't realize how how much i liked it anyway that's the middle signature purely journaling or you could decorate that entirely up to whoever makes the purchase little tuck there that goes in there actually I messed that up when I was putting it in right so that's a little kind of cluster pocket and that's open there as well so you can tuck things in there and then obviously the index card there that's a little I think I've done a video the other week on something like that you know how to make a pocket but also just a little journal spot some stamping, stamping there, another couple of writing spots on the backs of the tag and the journal card, postcard, and that's the flap of an envelope. There's another one of them in there. And then obviously you can journal on here. We have got some ruffle there. We've got, oh, this was cute. Uh, not that, well, yeah, the tag's cute, isn't it? <laughs> uh, decorated that with some pieces from one of our teammates. I think that was one of the medley cluster kits. So this is just like a file folder, and I folded it up and just decorated it. Um, so it's a little tag pocket thingy bobber, and we've got tags inside there. And you can obviously journal on the backs of all that as well. So we have got lots of room for writing and also tucking things in. So that's that. And that goes in there. Some more stamping, stamping. Love that page. More stamping here. We've got one of these triple tuck things. So the tag goes in there. That's one of the fruits of autumn. Uh, postcard there that's opened at the side here as well. If you wanted to tuck something smaller in there. Some stamping. Hearts on a string. Here, there's tuck space. Tuck space. I haven't spoken to anyone all day. Not much, anyway. <coughs> Just sat here watching videos all day, crafting away, having some me time. So the tags go in there. Oh, that one doesn't want to go in, does it? Well, it does go in. And then, like I said, you can always tuck something there. I put that little label on there. my door getting slammed got some grandkids downstairs playing the xbox screaming and shouting you know how they do i did ask them to be quiet but that is them being quiet <laughs> so that's a double pocket here triple pocket pocket there pocket here pocket there just some little journal spots 
here and there, little postcard there as well for you to write on. Let's see, there we go. Butterfly, little tuck there, another one of these. Because with one of the kits, you get three of them on a page. I did shrink it down a little bit. That's um, England is a garden. That's a flap of an envelope with a cluster on there. We've got another index card on here. And that flips out journal space. Little saying there. Just pops a piece on there so you, uh, to hide the book, the book page words. Postcard. And then that... Yeah, I think pretty much everything, um, apart from tailor-made journals and bohemian crafting. I think everything is arty means. And little pocket. I mean, technically, this could, depending on how busy you are over the autumn, this could last you one year, one year, one year. <laughs> or it could last you a few. So it's good. Okay, then. And then journal space here with a little... Um, that embellishment on there so that is the journal again another chunky one as you can see um kind of like doing these big chunk chunky ones now try and do a couple of these a month i think and there we go so like i said this will have 20 percent off fortunately it ends tonight uk time um, and like I said, what time is it now? It's nearly quarter to, well, 20 to 7, 20 to 8, 20 to 8 at night, okay? So there's a few hours left. I will put the link, direct link to this below if you want to go check it out over on Etsy. If you have any questions about the journal, please ask. Um, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. If you want to watch more of my videos, hit the subscription um, bell and you well the subscription button and hit the notification bell and you will see my upcoming videos you can check out my playlists where i've got i think well over 250 videos on one playlist of just some ideas that you could use for your journals or it may inspire you to you know just get your creative juices going again or you can like me i can watch a video and think oh i'm going to do that and then before you know it, i've i've started off trying to do something that I've seen and it's turned out completely different and I've loved it so <laughs> inspiration that's what it's called so anyway uh yes I'm gonna go because I can rabbit on for ages here and I will speak to you all soon bye for now